I built this lovely house, but I feel like the Mushroom Island isn't the best place for it. Luckily, I have Lightmatica installed, and with Lightmatica, I can copy a build and then use it as a template or just to copy and paste it. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. If you're not sure how to download Lightmatica, then check out my previous video and then come back to this one. And don't forget to subscribe if this video helps you out. <laughs> So there are three main parts of the Lightmatica mod. The first one is copying a build that you want to paste. The second is inserting that into a new part of the world or a different world. The third part is then pasting it and making it a permanent part of that new world. First off, I'm going to be covering copying a build. So if you're only interested in pasting other people's schematics into your own world, then you can skip ahead in this video. With Lightmatica, all of the interactions that you have are done through the stick. It's just a regular stick you can grab it out of the creative menu and when you hold the stick you can see in the bottom left of our screen it comes up with this little box here as you can see it says mode one out of nine area selection and so there are nine different modes that you can use with this stick and you can shuffle through them by holding control on your keyboard and then scrolling with the scroll wheel on your mouse the main ones we're going to be covering in this video are area selection schematic placement and then place schematic into world so that's modes one two and five so first things first let's select this build what you want to do while holding your stick go to mode one out of nine and select the bottom corner that you want to be building from you do that by holding the stick and then left clicking and right clicking and that will create the selection area as you can see that will include this side of the build and this side as well without anything hanging out and then what we want to do is come to the opposite corner so we left clicked that point down there and now we just need to right click this top right block and that will select this whole area one thing that's really cool about this mod that may be helpful is you don't actually have to be up close to click the block. You can actually just look at a block from really far away and right click and that also works exactly the same. So you can see that I'm clicking all the way over there and it's selecting just this area. So now that we've selected the area that we wish to copy, we now have to save this and you can do this by pressing M on your keyboard. This will bring up the Lightmatica menu and you have a few different options in here. The main ones we're going to be looking at are the schematic placements, loaded schematics, load schematics, configuration menu, and then area editor. What you want to do to save this schematic here is press on area editor and this will bring up this menu here. All you need to do now is just press save schematic and give this one a name. I'm gonna call this cool house and below that you can see our schematics file for all of our other schematics that we have installed. So now that I've typed in the name of our house there are a few other options on the right here. The main one we're going to be looking at here is ignore entities. If you tick this box here it'll basically ignore all mobs inside of the build as well as other things like item frames so let's just press save schematic and you can see that that has now been added to our schematics folder and now this has been added to our schematics folder we can go and paste this somewhere else we can paste it between worlds or within the same world so it doesn't matter where we want to go and paste this let's hop into a different world for instance so we are in a whole brand new world let's grab our stick again so now we need to paste our schematic into our world and if you're using a schematic that you found online you're going to need to paste that into your schematic folder you could do that really easily by going onto your computer pressing the windows key and typing percent app data percent once you press enter that will bring up your roaming file and in here you can find your dot minecraft file if you've downloaded the lightmatica mod already this will be simple stuff because you already put your lightmatica file in the mods folder but what we're going to look for here is the schematic folder it's just below the mods folder and if you double click that you can see that all of our dot like matic files are loaded in here if you've downloaded a schematic from online you'll need to copy and paste that schematic into this file and then once that's in this file you'll be able to find it in Minecraft so now that we have our schematic saved let's get this pasted into the world and the first thing you need to do is again grab your stick then press M to bring up the Lightmatic menu then what we need to do is press the load schematics button here then we can find the schematic we want to be using which of course is our cool house as you can see once we click that it brings up a few details here like it was made by me on this date and you can see the size that it takes up with the blocks to load this into the world we can press the load schematic button here and then if we quit out of that we can see that it's appeared here for us to move that around all you need to do is press Control and scroll down 
and that will bring you to the schematic placement mode. And then for us to move that, we then need to press the Alt button on the keyboard and then scroll up and down. Depending on the direction you look in, this will change the direction in which it moves. So as you can see, I'm looking in this direction. If I press Alt and I scroll up to move it away, then you can see that it moves away like so. You can also see if I scroll down, it'll move it towards me. And then that also works in all other directions, as well as up and down, of course. Let's get this into a position that looks good. And that looks pretty nice there. That looks like a good position. Of course, if you're building this in survival, it may not be in the right orientation. And it's a little bit difficult to build it when it's just one big block and it's fully opaque. For us to rotate the build and get it into a good position, all you need to do is press M plus P and then press the configure button here. On here, you can see a bunch of different things like move to player, rotation, and then mirror. If we want to rotate it around one of the corners, we can just press the rotate button. Let's move it around like that. And if we want to mirror it so it looks exactly like it does just mirrored, just press that button here. That has now been fully mirrored and that pathway looks pretty good right next to this little cove here. So let's keep it like that and put it into a nice spot. Like I mentioned, if you're building this in survival, you may want to know what blocks are contained within this area so you know what to collect. You can find a list of blocks by holding down M and then pressing L and this will give you all of the blocks that you need to build this building. Like I mentioned, it may be a little bit difficult to build this as it's one big chunk, all opaque. We can change the opacity so it's a little bit more see-through by pressing M and then going onto the configuration menu. If you then press on visuals and press the little search button here, we can type in render blocks as translucent. If we just press this button here to set it to true, you can see that now the blocks are a little bit more opaque and we can see through it. And then of course, it's still one big chunk. If we want to build it layer by layer, all you need to do is press M, press on configuration menu again, then click on render layers. And I like to set it to all below and then set here. That will bring the layer up to the block that you're in line with. And then by left clicking and right clicking this button here, you can bring the layer up or down. So if you're building up, the more progress you make, you can then build this higher and higher. And I really like this one because you get a proper good slice of the layer you should be making. Let's bring this all the way up to the top again so we can turn this to all again. We can see the whole build and we want to paste the schematic into our world now. We're playing on creative. We want to paste it. We don't want to build it layer by layer. Let's just get this pasted. What you need to do is hold down control, scroll to mode five for paste schematic into the world. And we need to set the key bind for us to paste this. So press M on your keyboard, go to configuration menu again, and then press hotkeys. What you want to do is search for EXE and that will come up with execute operation. We just need to set a key bind now. We can do this by pressing in this box here to highlight the none. I usually use M and O, so I hold down M and then press O and that will select it in here. Then all you need to do is press escape and that will confirm that combination there. Then we can quit out. And now that we're in paste schematic in world mode five, you can hold down M, press O, and that will paste the schematic there. Of course, it's still got the outline for our loaded schematic, and we can remove this by pressing M, going to loaded schematics, and just unloading that one there. When a new Minecraft update comes out, it's the perfect time to start a new server with your friends, and there's no better host than Shockbite. Click the link in the description and use code SALMONUP at checkout to get 25% off your first month of your Shockbite server. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that this tutorial has helped you guys out. If it has, don't forget to drop the video a like and make sure to subscribe to the Salmon Up channel for more awesome Minecraft 1.21 videos. And also, if you have any ideas for me for future videos, then make sure to drop them in the comments below. Or if you have any more comments or suggestions for me, make sure to also drop them in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!